History is littered with great debates. Lincoln versus Douglas, Nixon versus JFK. How about mother versus fool? Uh, I'm sorry? Why won't you let my son on your debate team? I've seen him beat the best. You can't tell me he's not good enough. Actually, Evan is good enough. Uh, he's just too young. Debate team's only for fifth graders. Why? Th those are just the rules. You're the debate teacher. Defend your rule. Well, <laughs> it's not my rule. It's the school's rule. Oh, so you don't care about these kids at all? You just do what your boss tells you to? Is that why you got into debate, to lie down? You should work in a mattress store. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. She, she's using humor to expose a flaw in my argument. Textbook marginalization. R write that down. I would encourage you to think for yourself the way you encourage your class to think for themselves. Being young isn't a negative, it's a positive. OK, class, this is her thesis statement. Let's see how she supports it. Think of other brilliant young prodigies throughout history. Mozart, Joan of Arc, Doogie Hauser. What if someone had told them that they were too young to practice their extraordinary gift? 